If you use Notion as a CRM, today you're up for a surprise. We're going to use a number of no-code automations to add information directly from social media platforms such as LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even from email directly to your contacts database in Notion. So the beautiful thing about Notion is that it is an all-in-one workspace. You can use it for many different goals. You can use it as your CRM, as a system for sales, as a task management platform and much much more so let's dive right into it and take a look at a few examples of how you can get data directly into notion so here in front of me i have a linkedin profile page and on the right side i have our context database and i have the demo view so that's demo list let's get here and download the extension that's going to make all of this possible it's called bardeen.ai you can download the extension by following the link below or going to bardeen.ai so you can open it with a click or with a shortcut and find an automation so here we have copy linkedin profile to a notion database you click once and the information is going to get added directly to notion just like this all right so let's now go ahead and try to add a twitter profile information to notion so here option b shortcut and you can copy twitter profile data to notion and just like that, we had Ryan Hoover edit uh, there as well. You can use other social media platforms, pretty much any platform to get information extracted from and add it to Notion. And here we are on a Facebook profile page. We're going to open Bardeen with a shortcut, option B, Facebook profile to Notion, and we'll have a new record created. In this case, I want to show you that you can click on the dropdown and see the parent page and you'll see your database with all of the information right there. Okay, just like that. Again, you do not need to switch between tabs. Information is already in your Notion. All right, let's go to our Instagram use case. So this one is really great if you do any type of influencer marketing, scraping Instagram accounts directly to your influencer list in Notion is going to be uh, just amazing because you need to qualify information on the website. And then once you qualify it, hey, this is the type of influencer I want to work with, you want to save them to a CRM. This way you can work in batches. You can qualify people and then you can reach out to people in batches as well. So here we have Instagram profile to Notion. Let's click on the automation and there we have Kim Kardashian edit, including her image right there. Okay, finally, I want to show you how to adjust the existing pre-built automations and how you can do the exact same thing on the website of your choice. Again, I just showed you four examples for the most popular social media platforms, but it's definitely not limited to them. So here we have the profile. Um, I don't have a website in mind to try it out on, but let's go ahead and try to recreate this automation. We're going to click on create new playbook. And the first action in all of these automations is to scrape information. Scraping information just extracts data from the page that you have currently open. So scrape data on an active tab and then you need to build a scraper template scraper template allows you to say which information and which data fields you want to extract from a website so you pick the website that you want to scrape in this case it's the currently open page and you can select one of the two types of scrapers we have the single page scraper and the list scraper so we have one page that we're scraping give your scraper a name and then here you can get the handle you won't want to get followers right there following let's get additional data description that's what we're going to call it that's going to be our full name here we have some hidden fields those hidden fields are the ones that are not displayed in the body of the page but they're there for example the page url we can grab as well so let's get the page link and call it URL and finally let's get the image so in order to get the image you have different types of data that you can extract uh, we've been extracting text data but you can also get the image 
All right, let's call it avatar. And then let's get the website link. Okay, so there we have it. This is our scraper template. And now let's click on save template. And we'll need to add this information to Notion. This is the second action to add page to Notion. Pick the database. We have the contacts database. And now we need to map data from the first action that extracted the data onto our second action that adds a new page to Notion. So here we have the fields that were loaded from this existing table database. So now let's go ahead and map the data from action one. And this is going to be the Instagram URL. We can add it to a list. I want it to be added to the demo list, or in your case, it can be influencer marketing list picture. Let's input the name. And that's pretty much it for me. But if I want to make any changes in my database, I can create new data fields and get the data mapped to it. Save the playbook, I'm going to call it demo IG to Notion. That's the name of our automation. Click on save again, and then we'll need to exit the builder. Now you can go to any Instagram profile page. You can find somebody else such as uh, Richard Branson. We're going to open Bergen with a shortcut and let's click on this automation. And just like this, Richard Branson was added to this database. And here we have his image as well. Finally, I want to show you how to save contacts from the currently open email in Gmail to Notion. So here we have Tom Solid from the paperless movement and want to get his information added to our CRM. So I already have the playbook built for it. I'm going to show you how it works and then I'm going to show you how it was built. So save current email to Notion, one click automation and here we have Tom Solid, the email, Twitter profile link, and more information. So let's go ahead and take a look at this automation. You can, by the way, adjust them any way you like. Let's hover over the three dots and click on open and builder. We will have all of the actions that were part of this playbook. So the first action will find the email from the currently open page. The second action is going to enrich data. So the first action gives us the to and the from. So the sender and the recipient, we get their email addresses, but Clearbit finds more information just based on the email, such as the full name, Twitter links, LinkedIn links, and much, much more. So this is a data enrichment step. And then finally, once we've enriched all of the data, we want to add that data to Notion. And we map the fields like we did before. We can do it for both company and person. Clearbit returns data for both the person and the company that they're a part of. So you can map different data fields here. And that's pretty much it. This is how this automation works. You can add some additional cool things to the playbook, such as notifications in Slack or send yourself an SMS with all of the information in case the profile is interesting and much, much more. And there is no limit to what you can build. It's all in your imagination. And this is it. In today's video, we've covered how to turbocharge your Notion CRM by adding an automation layer on top of it. We've covered how to get information extracted directly from LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Gmail. And we've learned how you can build your own scraper automations for any website out there. If you're serious about saving time by automating your manual work, subscribe to this channel and try out these pre-built automations yourself in the description below. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Cheers.